Hello sweet sweet souls, welcome back, I hope that you are okay. So today we're going to be doing a quick one on will your person confess their feelings towards you, for you. Um, I've got the Green Witch Tarot deck number one and I've got the Arthurian Tarot deck number two. So pick your deck, think about you, think about your person and let's go. Deck number one. So if you need me just drop me a message, missingmysetarot at gmail.com. I'm rocking and rolling full time again. Um, so yeah, if you want me, DM me. Instagram, Facebook, or mr.tarotgmail.com. So will your person confess their feelings for you? Let's go. See what spirits say, see what the cards say, and let's see what comes up. Will they confess their feelings for those watching? Let's see. Will they confess their feelings? Okay. So this situation with your person, that's quite interesting, um, you probably had a little bit of an ending, perhaps things weren't quite going how you wanted and you've gone to a bit of a conflict, a bit of a standstill, you might have had a few arguments, there might have been a bit of tension uh, between you both, okay? So some things might have been said on the on a whim they might have said no you know what i'm not into you or you know what i'm i'm not really paying you much attention or i'm not going to give you what you want you're not what i want there's been an eruption between you both now reason for this happening is you guys are a hurricane they are a tornado and sometimes those energies can really really meet in the middle and cause these mass explosions reason why is because the passions between the two of you really run deep and they really run strong so if they've said something to you when we're talking about confessing their feelings if they've said something to you which didn't fit in your energy that made you feel really heavy and seemed to be of untruth then please just discount it okay obviously this is the collective energy and if you want to have a look at individuals we can do that on private readings but as your collective it looks like some things have been said without really thinking about it without really focusing on the consequences of actions and it has caused these eruptions now when we're looking at their feelings for you there seems to be jealousy in tow so it could be that you've got a jealousy towards them they've got a jealousy towards you there is this conflicting arguments that have come from from uncertainty and deep-rooted jealousy. When it comes to their emotions, um, they've had their walls up a little bit, they've been a bit guarded as well. So you've become conflicted with them because they haven't explained to you how they are feeling and that has put you at a bit of a standstill and a bit of a, I don't know where this is going. So the deck split here, you've either got the physical arguments that have happened or the conflicting energy because they're not telling you how they are feeling. Sometimes your person will have acted more on a sexual energy as well rather than an emotional energy. So that's left you feeling a little bit like you got whiplash because you've gone backwards and forwards thinking, do they have these feelings for you? Do they have these emotions for you? Um, or is it just a sexual connection? And that's left you feeling a little bit lost. So some of you guys, the connection might have come to a bit of a close or a bit of a standstill, potential ghosting going on. If they have ghosted you, please don't panic. They will return. We've got internet-based communication happening over here. Also, uh, watching social media going on. So they are stalking you on your social media. Um, but there could be an ending that's happened with you guys. You might feel, again, that this conflict, you haven't known what to do, so you've took a step back. Maybe they've took a step back from the situation um, and it's all kind of come from the this icky stickiness between you both now what i do like over this so where you guys are at the moment like i said there is internet-based communication coming forward and um, there is going to be the chance for them to talk to you and they will actually openly express how they're feeling for you with it being the page of swords now they might say to you at the same time um, that they were really irritated at you <laughs> over here it got a bit out of hand it got a bit heated so they've had to take a step back but they um will express how they feel about you over here they'll be openly talking with the sun next to it it also speaks of happy times so they're not just going to be kind of coming at you throwing this kind of icky stickiness from this argument before they're not going to be throwing that at you they're going to be a lot more logical with their approach they're going to be talking a lot more logically to you about how they're feeling but they're also going to be telling you that um you do give them that happiness um 
deep within their soul um but it's just been a bit of a rigmarole there needs to be open communication between you both um and once that happens once that open communication happens and the door gets open um this is where the communication will come forward with them and they will talk to you about their feelings for you um there might be a little bit of self-defense going on there so if they um if it comes to a point where they feel like they're getting a bit vulnerable they might push you away again with these cards over here they might push you away again and say oh you know what forget it it doesn't matter um and that might upset you a little bit so just be prepared for that um but confessing their feelings confessing their emotions there will be a chance to openly talk with them about the situation and where it's going okay and, and what happened now the sun card at the very end shows that even though this heaviness has been happening there is a light at the end of the tunnel um, and you will get the answers that you want to hear you will hear from them and they will communicate those to you um unlikely to be over normal text it does look to be internet so it could be facebook messenger it could be any of the messaging apps or groups or things like that but internet-based communication is definitely coming up over here so wherever you are with your person at the moment even in the heavier times you will get the chance to talk to them both be open with your heart though okay because if you're both open with your heart you can build um if they are on self-protect still you might find that you're caught up in this bit a little bit of a spirit saying hedgerow and that's step number one okay so i'm just going to crack on and let's change the energy change the frequency and get to deck number two so if you just tapped in tuned in turned on what we're doing today is will they confess their feelings for you looking at you and the person that you are thinking of and let's do their thoughts feelings energy emotions and thought processes it is just a quick one today for you all okay let's go so will they confess their feelings for debt number two will they confess express confess oh, i love this deck um especially being druid so you've got taliesin now if i had more time i haven't got much time today i would tell you the story of keridwen and taliesin um but basically taliesin is a um a bard which is very very druid <laughs> so with Taliesin being a bard, this is a, a person that will um, talk about stories, they'll talk about fables, they'll express their emotions, they'll express their feelings towards you. Um, and so when we're asking about will they confess their emotions with Taliesin coming up at the start, this is saying that they will be able to talk to you about their feelings and emotions okay so you have got that coming first and foremost um like i said i, I could go if i have more time another day i will tell you the story of keridwen and taliesin and um, keridwen is one of my goddesses that works with me um, Taliesin is also this historical figure. He's also very um, spiritual in nature. So the connection between you guys is a more spiritual connection. So you might find on occasions, some of you guys, that your person talks to you, um, talks at you. <laughs> that's what spirit said, talks at you rather than to you, um, especially if they are talking on a more spiritual basis, sometimes you might feel like it's going to whooshing over your head, um, and they can go in a roundabout way about expressing their emotions towards you, so it's like they'll, they'll try and tell you a little bit here and a little bit there, but really kind of miss the point of what they actually want to say, um, it's because they get nervous, <laughs> they get nervous with regard to you because they have got these emotions, um, you've got the queen of wands, and you've got the Queen of Swords as well. So with regard to their feelings, you have this very passionate sexual energy between you both. Um, they are also seeing you in this very strong power energy um, where they are really, really interested in you. Okay, so they see these different sides of you. They see two sides of the corn when it corn, two sides of the coin when it comes to their emotions for you. They have these very deep rooted feelings going on here. Um, other things that are coming up with their emotions and will they confess their feelings for you? They're going to wait to a point where they're feeling a little bit more balanced and um, sometimes their emotions are thrown a little bit off kilt because um they're not like again they're not very good at expressing feelings um when they're feeling hurt or feeling a bit vulnerable they can sometimes skirt around the subject so you might find that they skirt around the subject a little bit but there is this expression of emotions um but you might find that it's a little bit here and a little bit there um with the seven of swords this is just a mask that they sometimes wear um when it comes to any time they talk about their feelings, um, 
again it comes back to not wanting to be hurt in the past and not wanting to get stuck in a situation and um, so they want to see how this comes around how it all plays out between you both and once they have it and once the tools start moving into play that is when they will express their feelings and emotions so yes they will do but they might go about it in a roundabout way so it's really important that you read between the lines they need to release that mask that they have been wearing and that is it for today guys i know it's a quick one but the baby's on monitor and i gotta shoot off um i love you all to pieces and i will speak to you soon many blessings guys see you next week ciao